Hey guys, welcome back to VBA A to Z. I'm Lung Pomai and in this video, I'll show you how to create a drop-down menu with an image. If you missed our prior videos, you can find them from professional UI slash UX playlist. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. In our previous videos, we've gone through how to create a drop-down using a combo box. Today, we'll utilize image image combo to add an image to the drop-down menu. For demonstration purpose, we'll add few countries to the drop-down along with the flags, okay? We're now going back to editor, we'll insert a new user form. This will be very similar in a way to the one we did for list view in our last video. Now let's bring the image list. This is where we'll be adding all the flags. And then uh, look for um, image combo. like this so if you do not find this uh, right click additional controls i think you're already familiar with this by now we have to check the image combo box and then the list image list control as well okay now coming back here first we'll add all this image to the image list here okay so select the user form and then we'll say with dot no image list dot list images so here um, we'll add the image, we'll leave the index and we'll specify the key. Here, for example, the first one we want to add is Australia. This could be, you know, like anything like this image one, that is the key. And in the image, we'll again use the load picture. And here we'll specify the path. Like this. Okay. So if we load this up now, Nothing is going to happen. Okay. All right. So now we'll add more pictures. So, you know, we can dynamically do this as well by looping through all the image in the directory. You can find the same code from the blog or from our prior videos. So I'll quickly add it like this. And we'll call this image one to this has to be unique. So five flags have been loaded. These are the you know like images loaded to image control to this one. And then we'll pass these images to our combo box. So say with me dot image combo. And then here you can specify um, image list will be you know like. We'll say that we'll use the image from the image list one, and then we'll start adding um, an item. Then here you say combo items dot add, and then again you can leave this as default, the index key, and then in the tag the first one we want to add Australia, and the flag will be will just link to the first image. Okay, you can also specify by the name as well. Similarly, we'll say to three four and five and then we'll rename this accordingly so the second one is brazil okay so if we load this up now you should be able to see um you know like the flags and the name of the country now one small thing if you go here there's nothing much that you can change here by the way um, but here you can see image combo box if you want let's say like select language or something you can or in, in this example we can say country like this so it will become the default like this or uh, you can also specify the value in advance what needs to be selected we can say combo box um, dot combo items dot items and here you can specify what to be selected let's say we want to select japan you can specify index 3 and then we'll say select that equal to true like that so if you load up now it'll show japan already pre-selected okay so if you have to read this whatever was selected you can 
uses a very similar approach that we use for our list view. So here we can say, um, let's see, there's a text box, something like this. One for um, the text, and then one will try to get the indexed. Okay, so we can say me dot text box will pass the value. Um, here we'll pass the image combo text. First we'll pass the text. This. And then in the second text box, we'll put in the whatever was selected. Index of that. Okay. So South Korea is selected. Australia is selected. United States is selected. Okay, so this is a short video. I'm doing it today before we move on to the next control. I hope you found this informative. Please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.